Hey, New Hope, Pastor Brian here. Just wanted to remind us all of some comforting words that Jesus spoke to his disciples. So at the time that he speaks these words, his earthly ministry is coming to an end. The time had now come for his physical death. He had just announced to his disciples that one of them is going to be a traitor, that Peter is going to deny him three times, and that he's going somewhere, and where he's going, they're not able to go with him just yet. So obviously that would be very unsettling, news that they didn't want to hear and they weren't sure how to process it. And uh, Jesus noticed that their hearts were troubled, and so he speaks words of comfort to them. And I really believe that these words can bring comfort to us today. These are promises that Jesus spoke to his disciples, and these promises are still for us today. And so would you join me? We're going to read in the book of John chapter 14. I want to point out just a couple of promises that Jesus is giving his disciples. So starting in verse 1, Jesus speaks. He says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. A quick side note. I want you to notice that trust is an antidote for a troubled heart. Trust is an antidote for a troubled heart. He says, don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. So then in verse 2, he says, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. So this first promise Jesus gives his disciples is that he is going to return. He says, I'm going somewhere, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to return. And knowing that all that the, that the disciples were about to face, knowing all that they were about to go through, uh, Jesus needed to give them that promise to, to allow them and encourage them to look forward to something. Um, it was going to be tough on them, and they needed that promise. They had that to look forward to. And it's the same for us to, today. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we face, um, we have that promise of Jesus' return. There's something about heaven. There's something about spending eternity with Jesus that keeps our eyes focused on what is unseen, doesn't it? Um, and the second promise is this. Even though Jesus was leaving, he was going to send some help. He's like, in the meantime, while I'm gone, I'm going to send help. So in verse 16 of John 14, he says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. The disciples, they were going to have a counselor. They were going to have an advocate, someone who would bring help and strength, someone that would bring truth to them through everything that they're going to go through, and the Holy Spirit was going to be with them. And the same is true for us. That promise is true for us today. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit to help us, to bring comfort, to be our advocate, to bring truth to us. We have that within us. Verse 18, Jesus even says, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I will come back. Another word for orphans could be comfortless. Jesus wasn't going to let his disciples um, not have comfort and, and bring that assurance of his presence there. And that happens for us today. We're not abandoned. We're not helpless. We're not hopeless. Jesus is with us through the, the power of his Holy Spirit that resides within us. And I want to encourage you guys that there's no need to have a troubled heart when you have the very Spirit of God within you. There's no need to have a troubled heart. So listen, the one who created you, the one who created the universe, is with you right now. He's your Heavenly Father. So why do we need to feel alone? Why do we need to have a troubled heart when we know that Jesus is going to return and that in the meantime, we have the Holy Spirit with us? So think about this. The disciples, they were about to go through some very fruitful ministry after Jesus left. Peter preached and 3,000 people gave their life to the Lord. Some very fruitful ministry was about to take place. And I believe in the season of life that we're in, we can see some fruitful ministry no matter what we're facing because we have the the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit with us to help us, to guide us, to lead us through all of this. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you promised you would return, and that promise encourages us today. That promise helps us get through this difficult season of life that we're in. I pray that you would remind us of that, remind us to keep our eyes focused on what is unseen. 
Jesus, we thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit for comfort and help, for truth, for guidance. Um, And may we remember that today and may we walk in that truth and walk in the authority that you've given us through your Holy Spirit. And Jesus, I pray that this season of life that we're in, it would be very fruitful, that hearts would be reconciled. God, I pray that, that bodies would be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that families and relationships would be restored in Jesus' name. We know that you are with us. Bring comfort and peace in your powerful name. Amen. So, don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus is with us. He's returning, and he's promised the Holy Spirit. So, have a great week. Look forward to seeing you soon.